Hello Anne, uh, I have prepared a screencast for you to uh, run Moodle Writer plugins uh, successfully. Uh, if we have uh, managed to uh, install plugins, uh, there should be a Moodle Writer label on top of the uh, toolbar menu, as you see. Okay. But first thing first, in order to use Moodle Writer, you need to have some uh, artifacts. I guess you don't have any projects on your package explorer, on your workspace. For that reason, I will show you uh, clone a git repository, which has some uh, demonstration files. I have prepared as a source repository for that purpose as you see you can click demonstrations source repository you can clone it like this and you need to open the git perspective yeah like this git okay and you need to click clone a git repository clone select clone uri and the, uh, the view is uh, automatically filled since you have already uh, copied to the clipboard the uri and i move on next next please select import all existing eclipse projects after clone finishes and finish it and let's wait for the operation uh, finish okay select another uh, appropriate view it doesn't matter I suggest uh, uh, suggest the one different than git so I select plugin development it doesn't matter but you kill you will see the projects successfully downloaded uh, there are two configuration files please select the one uh, which does not have reasoning capabilities right click on that file and load specification like like this to check the parsing uh, finished successfully check the preferences like this and you see the location types and relation types are listed on this view open the configuration file for example select a text artifact I have prepared also one for this purpose click this again my practice is to divide the window into two okay now it's almost done but you can also open two views that we have prepared for model writer one of them is traceability and the other one, the other one is master view select it here is the module writer here is the master view here is the traceability view okay let me talk about the configuration file of uh, Havasan it is prepared for ALM uh, use case for that reason uh, each uh, project, each specification has several contract requirements. Each contract requirement uh, may have uh, different contract requirements through contains relation, and each contract requirement might have system requirements. Actually, those contract requirements are mapped to system requirement system requirement can refine another system requirement or require a different system requirement each system requirement are satisfied by an implementation 
this implementation can be a model can be a code can be a component each model model element can be transformed into another model element one model element can generate code or generate a component itself and each uh, implementations like model code and component are verified by verification methods those are can be uh, listed as analysis simulation and test so let me begin with a easy one in order to the specification we have already specified there should be one specification file on the workbench so I select this title and marked is a specification and in this hierarchy of the document there are several use cases I select one of them and assign as a contract requirement and also the other one I'm doing the same I apply the third one the same labeling process okay now you will see this contract requirements is a specification this is a contract requirement and as you know you can move on these between those artifacts so I uh, in order to have a consistent traceability it is defined that uh, each contract requirement has might uh, must have uh, attached to a, a, a specification okay so I am doing this like this I select contract yeah these are all listed okay then I check consistency it say instance is consistent okay and maybe I can add several more contract requirements like this okay and uh, these three must be uh, listed under this one okay so I select contain relationship and I select the three one and as you see it is listed and I check the consistency again it's consistent the instance is consistent so I can still navigate okay so let's assume that this is um, a system requirement okay and also this is another system requirement and main success scenario here um, I, I wanna to uh, map this requirement to these two so I click this I'm mapping them they are listed as you see one and four okay again I check the consistency it's consistent but I let's assume that system requirement zero is uh, system requirement is uh, system requirement zero this one refines this one uh, this one as well so I can refine that requirement with this one when I check the consistency it says it's co inconsistent because in the one of the rules here I said that if a system requirement define the other one the latter one uh, requires the former one so I need to map 
the opposite with a require relation and after I check the consistency it says it is consistent so this rule this fact is about reasoning I will describe later in uh, Toulouse uh, how this uh, reasoning uh, works so I think uh, this demo demonstration is uh, enough for you as a start and also I would like to s mention about module writer master view it's a con contextual view so yeah as you see and also you can open a RKF document let me open this RKF document okay we're using the same configuration file um, I would like to map uh, these artifacts okay here as you see yeah I'm marking it with with a um, let's say model it's, a, uh, it's a some kind of implementation okay as you see how the contextual context menu works yeah here and I'm going to the traceability view when I check the consistency it's inconsistent since this model artifact is not uh, trace trace back to the system requirement so I need to map it satisfied by this model element okay uh, when I check consistency it says okay and also this means I can back and forth like this I can navigate to the this one like this okay and this finishes my screencast